Hello, welcome back to Algebra. Now you have the basic idea about multiplying items in algebra when you have negative and positive um, terms, essentially, uh, including cases when you have variables. Now we're just going to do a couple of problems to, rank, to, to crank up the complexity just a little bit more. But you're basically following the same rules in each case. So here you have 5 plus, I'm sorry, x plus 5y multiplied by 2 on the outside, and then plus negative 3 uh, times 7x minus y. Okay, so here's, here's what we have. Um, so we have a lot of things going on here. We have a 2 on the outside of this term, so this 2 needs to be distributed into each term. And then separately, this negative 3 needs to be distributed to each of these terms. So that's what we're going to do. Um, for the first guy, the 2 times the x is going to give us positive 2x because both terms are positive. The 2 times the 5y is going to give us positive 10y because those two terms are both positive. Now here's where we have to be careful. We have negative 3 times positive 7x. Negative times positive gives us negative. So we have to put negative. 7 times 3 is 21, and the variable x comes along for the ride. And then here, the negative gets multiplied in here, but this is like a negative y. It's, it's subtracting y, but you can, you can read it as negative y here. So negative times negative gives you positive. So you have to put a positive here. And then it's just going to be 3y because what you end up multiplying is the 3 times the 1, that, the implied 1 that's in front there. So you get a positive 3y. Now this is really the answer, but it's not fully simplified. Notice we talked earlier about adding and subtracting like terms. When you add things in algebra, the terms have to match. So here we have an x, 2x, I'm, I'm sorry, and here you have negative 21x. But in both cases, you have an x as your variable, which matches. So that allows you to deal and add or subtract the numbers. So in this case, you have 